The Nutcracker is a very famous ballet that is performed throughout the whole world and is very popular during the month of December. The original story, which was called The Nutcracker and the Mouse King, was written over 200 years ago and published in a book of fairy tales. Then, in 1892, the Russian composer named Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky put the story to music to create a ballet and the rest is history. Because the plot of the story takes place on Christmas Eve, it is common to see this ballet performed right around the holiday season. The current music students in kindergarten through fourth grade at Homer Center Elementary put together their own version of the Nutcracker. We hope you enjoy it. Our story begins on Christmas Eve, where there is a big party going on. Clara and her family are celebrating with lots of food, games, laughs, and dancing. Although there were already many presents under the tree, Clara's godfather had one more special gift for her. Now, it's important to know that Clara's godfather was a toy maker who was known to make toys that were enchanted and magical. When she opened up her gift, she saw that he had given her a nutcracker. She was so happy and spent the rest of the evening playing with it. Later that night, after the party ended and everyone was asleep in their beds, Clara woke up to quite a surprise. She noticed that the toys had come to life. Her nutcracker was marching around. Let's watch Mrs. Strini's class march like the nutcracker who came to life. In addition to marching, you'll see them do some conducting and some ballet dancing. Suddenly, Clara noticed that the Nutcracker was having a battle with the mouse. But it wasn't just a mouse, it was the Mouse King. To help the Nutcracker, Clara took off her slipper and threw it at the Mouse King and helped the Nutcracker to win the battle. They were both so happy. Suddenly, they were met by a sugar plum fairy 
who rewarded them for their victory over the Mouse King by going to the land of sweets. What a fantastic reward! Can you imagine going to a land that is totally made out of candy? While they were there, they were greeted by various dancers from countries all over the world. First, they met dancers from Spain. The fourth graders in Mrs. Stossel's class noticed that the music to the song went back and forth between brass instruments, woodwind instruments, and string instruments. The different colored scarves that they use represent each instrument family. Red for brass, blue for woodwinds, and yellow for string. See if you can hear all of those instruments during the song. Next, they met dancers from China who brought them Mandarin tea. How yummy! In this song, the flutes play very high, so that means we also had to jump very high. Mrs. Kaufman's third grade class knew exactly where to jump in this piece. Let's watch them. Finally, they watched a performance by a few Russian dancers called the Trepak. This high energy song requires some high energy dancers. Mrs. Detweiler's class was perfect for the job. Using ribbons to make their dance colorful, you'll definitely see them jumping and kicking a lot.
watching so many performances and eating so many treats, Clara became tired and fell asleep as they left the land of sweets. When she woke up on Christmas morning, she noticed that the Nutcracker was just a toy again. Was it all a dream? Or did she see the magic of Christmas right in front of her very own eyes? The end. Thank you.